Hello, today's lesson is on operations with integers. We're looking at pages 7 to 19 in your workbook. We have four goals for this lesson. We're going to add, subtract, and multiply and divide integers and take a look at the rules that surround the four operations. First up, let's talk about adding integers. When we add integers that have the same sign, for example, two positive numbers, or two negative numbers, then all we do is add the integers and keep the sign. So for example, a problem we've seen many times in our lives, five plus three, this is a positive five plus a positive three, and we know the answer is eight, and that eight is a positive eight. Whether we have the sign or not in front of a positive number, we can keep it like a plus sign in front, or we can take it away and we understand that that's positive. Conversely, if we deal with negative numbers, if we have a negative 5 plus a negative 3, then we just add the integers, 5 plus 3 is 8, and we keep the negative sign. It's like being in debt $5 and then adding another $3 of debt. We end up down $8. So if we look at this first student example, it's a golf example. And in golf, it's actually a good thing to be with negative scores. So Jack's score on his first round of golf was four under par. So he's playing quite well. So that's a negative four. On his second round, he shot three under par. So we add on to the first round, the second round, which is a three under par. So what's his total score going into the third round? Well, we see that we're adding two negative integers. So we just add them. Four plus three is seven. And because they're both negative, we have a negative seven score. So that's pretty straightforward, but when the integers have different signs, we actually are going to have subtraction in disguise. So when the signs are different, we're going to find the difference between the numbers and attach the sign of the larger number. So let's take a look at this first example. We have five, which is a positive five, plus a negative three. So I want you to ask yourself the question, which one do I have more of? Do I have more positives or negatives? We can see that we have more positives. Five is greater than three. So because I have more positives, my answer is going to be positive. And then I just subtract. Five minus three is two. This is like having $5 and then going ahead and spending $3 we have $2 left. Let's take a look at the second example. We have negative five plus three. This time I have more negatives. Again, five is the greater integer and it's a negative five. So I have more negatives, so my answer will be negative. Negative five plus three is actually subtraction. I'm going to do five minus three is two and I have negative two. And again, if you look at it in terms of money, if you owe $5 and then you get $3 and pay that person, now you only owe them $2. So if the signs are opposite, if you have different signs, you're going to compare the numbers. You're actually going to subtract them and you're going to keep the sign of the greater number. So let's take a look at this as an example in a word problem. Bill's credit card debt at the start of the month was $450. So he is owing $450, that's a negative. During the month, he made a $200 payment on his credit card. So he put some money on the credit card. So he added $200, positive, right? So what is his new credit card balance? Well, we know that he didn't pay off the card. He only paid $200. So we understand from real life that this answer needs to be negative. And the reason why it's negative is because the 450 is a greater integer. So it's going to be a negative answer. And then we're going to take the 450 and we're going to give that credit, right? We're going to subtract the 200, leaving us with 250. So he still owes money, 
but not as much as before. So we subtract and we compare the signs. So in summary, when you're adding integers, if you have the same signs, you can find the answer and keep the signs. So positive plus positive is positive, negative plus negative is negative. But if the signs are different, you're going to ask yourself, which one do I have more of? If I have more positives, my answer will be positive. If I have more negatives, my answer will be negative. And then I actually subtract, I find the difference, and I take the sign of the larger number. Before going on to the next video, subtracting integers, maybe good for you to try page 15. Question number one. These give uh, practice on adding integers.